Hey, hello everybody, this is Maddie here. Uh, tonight I'm gonna go over a quick video tutorial, hopefully, uh, about how to find the best gear possible for challenge mode. Um, a lot of people ask me, how do you know which gear is better? You know, how do you compare which stats are better and stuff like that, you know, and which item is, you know, best suited. So I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Um, I'm not gonna be covering, you know, what works and what doesn't in challenge mode, you know, like the legendary cloak that doesn't proc, you know, nor the legendary meta gem and stuff like that. There's like other guides out there that do that. So I'm just gonna be covering how to find the optimum gear that you can actually get that are currently available in the game. Because as you know by now in patch 6.0, the pre-patch for Warlords of Draenor, they're gonna be really uh, removing, um, the access for you to be doing challenge modes of MOP. So you won't be able to obtain the Phoenix to get the transmog gear, nor to get the titles that goes with it. So I'm just gonna go carry on. And what I did, I went on wahe.com. Uh, wahe.com, you have the um, address written right here in the navigation bar. Oh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, so what I did, I went onto database. Uh, I went over items and item finder. So pretty much here you can find anything that is suited for your class slash spec. So in any slot. So I'm going to go ahead and select weapons. Uh, okay, gear, level 90, weapon. And class, talent specialization, I'm going to use arms warrior. This is what I'm going to be covering today. We'll be the weapon for arms warrior for challenge mode. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and find equipment. So... At first glance, you will notice that you have like a lot of results out there. You know, you have pretty much, you know, like L Scream Warable, you know, all type of weapon that the warrior can actually wield, you know, any type of difficulty. Um, you have like 959 results. So we're going to try to narrow that down a little bit. So we're going to go ahead with like I level 502 from Throne of Thunder, looking for raid up to like I level 561, uh, which include the heirloom from Garage on regular and on um, flexible. The reason why I do not go above that I level, it's because it doesn't matter if it's Heroic Thunder Forge, Heroic War Forge, uh heroic standalone or regular or flex or even raid finder because all of your gear would get scaled down to eye level 463 uh which means that all stat will get downsized and pretty much the only value that will be changing will be the uh, secondary stat which is like mastery crit haste um and all kind of good stuff the rest we will remain pretty much the same and equivalent to most weapon once they are scaled down to 463 uh besides maybe a few ones but we'll get that in a few minutes so I'm gonna select like two hand maces and sword and axe uh, because if you check I mean some of them the stats are not that great like you know pole arm haste and mastery it's not the best that you can go with uh, for arms warrior um, same with the pole arm they're not the greatest out there um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and select those and select two hand weapon he whoops two hand weapon uh, then quality epic and erlu and we're gonna remove the automatic reforge and the gems and one thing too as you notice they're all sort by like eye level here right now so we're gonna what are you gonna do we're gonna do like subcategories you know we're gonna just uh, sort them and group them by level so that way we will be able to search easier what we're looking for so we're gonna apply filters real quick so as you can see now it's way more clearer so the all group by eye level as you can see right now you know i have the pvp weapon and stuff like that um and on the other you have like the one from throne of thunder and you know previous raid tier um so basically what i did is that I create myself a list. I'm logging right now on my account on Wahead. I'm the, I'm not gonna do that right now because I already did it. So pretty much what you do, you just select the weapon and add to list, and you can create yourself like a new list and stuff. So uh, you just add like any type of weapon that you think is best suit for your class based on the stats that you have, and you end up with something like this. Okay, so that's what I have. 
uh, the Elstrom Decapitator flexible, like I state, it doesn't matter if it's Heroic Warforge or Warforge or Thunderfall, whichever, we don't care because it will all scale down to 463. Um, you know, you want to aim for weapons with socket in them, especially the weapons from Throne of Thunder, you can actually add another socket in them due to the fact of the Eye of the Black Prince from the Legendary Quest line. Uh, so if you never done the Legendary Quest line, you're not at that level yet, you know, it doesn't matter too much for you. We're going to be covering, you know, what is best suited for people who haven't done that. So that's the weapon I have. So pretty much like all of them, once they're on your list, or if you haven't done a list, you can just search manually with them. Uh, so pretty much to search manually, what you do, I mean, you select like one weapon here. Let's say, okay, this one, then you click compare, which take slightly longer, you know, due to the process. Uh, so, you, you know, you just click add item and you say like, let's say L scream. Decapitator so you know you select the decapitator and just you're gonna be adding it there But you know if you create a list it goes like smoother and easier. So that's what I did So, you know, you can just click on compare Okay, if you the item without saving that's fine And this is the page you end up with uh, you have all the weapon line up You know with the eye level that they have right now in the game um, This time, you know and all the stuff that you need to know but right now I'm gonna just move them around just to um, put them by eye level so you can actually see the difference what I'm talking about. So there we go, Throne of Thunder Raid Finder, two weapons. We have the uh, Zalaoth from um, um, uh, Siege of Ogrimmar, we have the Great Sword of Bright's Fall, the PvP weapon, which is eye level 550, that should go here, and ultimately you have the Yell Screams Decapitator, which is 556, the flexible um, weapon. Uh, what I mean by, you know, it's scaled down, I'm gonna just copy this, the Yell Screams Decapitator, and I'm just gonna add it manually. And I'm gonna be adding the heroic version of the item, which is uh, this one, eye level 582, which is, you know, quite high you have like a huge amount of stat and stuff but as I state all the items would get scaled down to 463 for challenge mode so we're gonna go ahead and scale down all those weapons so shift click shift and right click on the item and select challenge mode for all of them so you will notice what I mean by they all scale down so it doesn't matter really which eye level you have so as you can see they all being scaled down if you check the amount of strength on it, the only one so far that has a slight upper edge is the Prideful Gladiator Great Sword, which 889 strength um, versus all the others. So, but have like PvP power, which make that weapon pretty much worthless because PvP power doesn't, you know, affect in PvP in PVE. Sorry. So. As you can see right now, even the heroic version got scaled down, as I stated, and they have the exact same value as the one from Flexible. So you see, it doesn't really matter, like I state, like if you have like heroic or Eric Forge, because they scaled down. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the heroic um, weapon right now. So first thing and foremost, what we're gonna do on the two weapons from the Throne of Thunder, we're gonna add the extra gem in it because we can with the Eye of the Black Prince for the people who have done the quest and past you no know, that phase, you can add an extra socket to uh, the Throne of Thunder weapon. So shift, right click, extra socket. Shift, right click, extra socket. As you can see, you cannot add um, the Eye of the Black Prince to the Prideful weapon, nor the one from Siege of Ogrimmar. So, which gives the first two weapons a slight upper edge versus the other ones. So we're gonna go ahead and gem it. Just for the purpose of this video, just keep in mind that you are already expertise in hit cap just in just to short the video and for you guys to understand what I'm coming from with that. And just for the sake of it, the hit included in the Zerat Malax Soul Burning Greatsword, uh, we will take uh, consideration that the hit on the weapon means and is accounted for being hit cap. So we're going to go ahead and add gems and the red socket. I'm going to put an inscribe, which is strength and crit. For maximum output and on the prismatic we're going to put a smooth one which is pure critical strike so right now we are up to like almost two percent chance to crit and 959 strength due to the second bonus so we're going to go ahead and add gem to the other weapon so this one we're going to be picking the jagged wild edge which is critical strike and stamp because as I state, we're going to be assuming that you are hit cap and expertise cap, and we are taking in account the hit 
that you have on the weapon itself. Uh, so I'm going to add in the prismatic, I'm going to add the smooth one, which is pure critical strike. So right now you see that the stats vary a little bit. Um, and we can also, no, no, that's pretty much what it is. Um, Strength 879 over 959 from the Heartbringer here. We have 1.56% chance to crit, which is a 0.27% chance less than the previous weapon, the Heartbringer of Death of Terror, sorry. And we have 1.8% chance to hit. And if you check the other stats, pretty much remain the same. So on the prideful gladiator's weapon, there's not too much that we can do. Uh, I mean, you cannot have a socket to that, and you cannot, you know, put anything. So that weapon pretty much stay as it is. Now the uh, Zalatho, the desecrated image of Gorhal. We're gonna add in the gem here, the inscribe, which is strength and critical strike again. So you have 959 strength, you have 0.97% of mastery, uh, you have 1.12% chance to crit, which is a 7.71% chance less than the uh, pre the first weapon from Raid Thunder Throne of Thunder, and that's pretty much what seals it. Uh, strength and crit that's pretty much the max that you can go with you get the socket bonus that adds up to 959 strength so it comes close close in terms of uh you know with the uro or bringer um so and you have like really good stat which is crit and mastery so i'm just going to move that weapon second that will be my second best pick up my second best choice um so we're gonna go ahead and do the great sort of pride's fall we're gonna add in the gemming here the jagged one once again, assuming that you're a hit cap, crit and stam. So you can see now, uh, even with the socket bonus, it only gives you 879 strength. I mean, we can remove the gem, you can see the difference. Uh, clear enhancement. Oops, then challenge mode. Uh, 819, which is the base of the weapon, once scaled down to 463. And with the gem, which is the jagged one, you can also aim for the uh, the one half critical so I can hit if you're not hit cap of like I said for the purpose of the video you are hit an expertise cap so 879 strength and you have 1.32 haste rating which is a lot as an arms war you you want to try to avoid haste as much as possible you have 1.17% chance to grit um, which is roughly point 66% chance less than the uh, previous one, the, the first one, the uh, Heartbringer of Terror here. So, you know, you lose more than half of a percent. So, and then Hail Scream Decapitator. We're going to add two inscribed here. One and then two. So as you can see now, you have 1,019 strength on the uh, garage um, weapon. Uh, the reason why you have like that much output is because you have like two sockets and a weapon. You have 1.36% 1 chance to crit, but you have like 1.21% uh, of expertise. Let's go ahead and just reforge the uh, haste into mastery. Uh, just for the sake of it, see how that turns out. Okay, we have less haste, which is good. Uh, 0.34 uh, mastery, which is not too bad. Um, but you can see the chance to crit is really, you know, lower than the first weapon here. So, but you have a good amount of strength. So, actually, I'm going to put that weapon second in terms of uh, what I would be in for. So, there you have it. That's pretty much my choice that I would pick for challenge mode. Uh, the first weapon, which is... In my opinion, the best slot that you can get will be the Heartbringer of Terror due to the fact that you already have one socket and you can add another one with the Eye of the Black Prince. You have 959 strength, which is more than, you know, more than the average besides the, uh, the Hell Screams, the Capitator, and the um, Xalatho, the Discord Image of Gorhal, which come in par. But if you check the last three ones, this one um, comes better. The mastery rating, uh, 0.73, uh, crit chance almost 2%. You don't have any haste on the weapon, which is make really good. Two good stat, which is crit and mastery for arms warrior. Uh, the second one, it's the uh, L screams decapitator. I mean, 
1019 strength that's pretty good uh the only downside is the haste but you are like close you know 1.36 percent chance to quit which is not too bad uh versus the uh Zerath, which have 1.56 which is really good but lacks a little bit behind in terms of strength so my second choice will actually be the l stream decapitator my third choice will actually be uh the secret image of gorehal for the only reason that you have 959 strength over 879 from um Zerat here um you have 1.12 percent chance to crit which is a little bit sad but uh you don't have any type of haste so and you don't have to suffer from uh reforging to hit assuming that your hit cap of course here so you know you won't be losing too much stat and you know but my choice i i will say that both the um the secret image and the zerat come close uh, besides the lack of strength on the uh, Merath here, but I would think that both of them will be my third pick. Um, so, I mean, you can see the stat output here. You have, like, way more critical strike chance with the uh, Zera than you have with the uh, image of Gorehald here. So, I mean, pretty much there you have it. This is how you do it. That's how I've done it. Uh, you know, you can narrow down pretty much, you know, any items that you want just by with using the item finder um, in the in Wallhead. If you just go into a database here, items, items finder, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and leave page. Uh, so you pretty much just select, you know, gear, your level, you know, pick any slot. Let's say, for example, I don't know, neck piece or, uh, you know, then arms warrior, fine equipment. Once again, most of the item on TUT have socket in them, and we go up to 553, which is um, Siege of Ogrimmar. We're going to remove the gem, whoops, here, and the automatic reforge, and we're going to be grouping them by level. So we're going to apply the filters, and you will actually see all the available um, neck piece that are available to you and as you can see like most of the one from throne of thunder they have you know see like well that's the taking one but you get the idea you know they have socket in them like you know it's it's pretty cool actually um so we're here okay so you know that's you know like like say for example the passion fire choker you know critical strike in spirit and have an extra socket you know so you know most of them you know have uh, a socket in them you know hit and critical strike for the amount of the primal turtle here so you know it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so versus the one from ogrimmar they don't have any kind of socket in them so you don't you cannot have like maximum output with those but if it's all that you have by all means go with that so that's how i've done it um you know there's there is probably like better way to do it but i think that's the easiest way to do it you know by comparing items just putting them into a list and scale them down as you previously saw to challenge mode and add the gems you know the way you, you want them and customize them so that's how you done it and that's 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 pretty much what it is i uh, hope that was helpful to you if you have any questions by all means you know feel free to ask and if you like it subscribe and ready thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time